Uh, best of luck. Now, as we mentioned earlier, this one is the new host of For the Love of Folks. <laughs> So she is now da -da 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 -da, ambassador on this morning for our four-legged friends. We wanted to shine a light, therefore, on some of the super dogs who are doing incredible things to help people. Yeah, today we're meeting four amazing dogs and their owners. So let's start off with Karen. So lovely to meet you. And Thank who you. have you Hi, brought Karen. with you? Who are these? I've brought Riot. Yeah. And I've brought a daughter, Rosie. Rosie. So right. she's Rosie. Oh she's gorgeous. She's Rosie. Oh, she's Rosie Hill, named after police headquarters. Oh, they are right. beautiful. And they look. They look like foxes. Yes, they do, don't they? From what? the Spitz breeding, yeah. Oh. The Japanese Shiba Inus. And they are police Shiba dogs. Inus. Yes, the well-being dogs for Merseyside Police. And what does that involve, Karen? Uh, we go into, obviously, the police... They have a stress, obviously a very stressful job, so they go into the police stations, de-stressing the police officers. Mm -hmm. We do occupational health days where they do oh, many health great. tests. And um, they've worked on a lot of major critical... <laughs> 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 a lot See, of... no wonder she got the job. Look at that. I mean, <laughs> got like some Francis of Assisi <laughs> over here. That's amazing. Over for me to give him a little rub. Oh, oh so gorgeous. Oh. So, and Raya, as Rosie's also helped with witness statements with vulnerable adults. Really? So if that worked, someone would be giving a statement and then they'd come in and just relax them. Relax and calm them, them, gone down. into the fa family room and completely relax them, and then they've gone into the uh, get actually got the statement. Oh, how lovely is it to have these dogs with you all the time? Fabulous, fabulous. And they've just done a ranking photo shoot. No, they oh. haven't. Yeah. <laughs> is it just their faces? No, they've got the, I think they've got the pictures. I've sent the picture in, ranking asked them uh, with joking? the Kennel Club, the ambassadors for the Kennel Club and Charitable he's... Trust. And so what he did is they did a their uh, promotion. Yeah. So uh, he asked them to do a, uh, a photo shoot. So we went down to his studios, did a private photo shoot, and the portraits were in a ranking exhibition Aww. in Satchi Gallery. That's amazing. I know. If Tell it, us a little bit about me, this breed, because I love this kind of little foxy breed. They're so sweet. They're a hunting breed. They've been a country about 30 years. So. Uh... Rosie's having a nice time. <laughs> <laughs> Certainly hit the spot there, didn't we? <laughs> Riot's fast asleep. Look at Riot. Look at Riot. That <laughs> is your... Asleep. That is that's very good, Alison. You must be is a good therapy dog person. Whisper. You just have the dog to sleep. <laughs> Look at him. He's just <laughs> lying there. He must have the other way around. <laughs> What's going on with these guys? <laughs> Pretty sure you've just woke him up. <laughs> oh. Isn't he gorgeous? It's a known... They used to go into the Manchester <laughs> Children's <laughs> Hospital and they did all the, the research on it and it's a known fact. Petting an animal or any dog lets the serotonin, oxytonin off in the brain, which is your natural de-stress. I, mean, I think that's the same it, with it animals. Any I'm, animal, I'm home, any exactly, animal. And I'm a little yeah. bit stressed and I yeah. just sit down with you all just... my cats for 10 minutes. Just, yeah. yeah, absolutely. Well, they've even been into the custody with the cells with prisoners. Yeah. And then when they've been booking in, they've actually calmed custody. Just calmed them down. I bet oh, they that's have. really yeah. good. When they've been in... And they've been at Crufts as well, haven't they? Yes, yes. And they loved it. They're going to... Yeah, they're, and they've qualified for Crufts again this year. Of course they did. Look at how gorgeous they are. You better bring your A game, you. <laughs> All right, we've got Lizzie now. Good morning, Lizzie. Well, How are you? you? I'm good, thank you. So you've got Hen is it Henry. <laughs> yep, Henry. This is Henry over here. Hello, Henry. <laughs> Hello, my darling. Now, Henry is a medical alert dog. Tell us a little bit about Henry. Yeah, so um, I have a condition called POTS, uh, yeah. which makes me black out regularly, daily. Yeah. Um, and before him, I was practically babysat the entire time. Yeah. I'd have someone with me all the time. Yeah. Um, I was falling out, blacking out without any warning, mm -hmm. uh, injuring myself, causing loads of drama in shops and everything. Um, and then he came <laughs> along and he got trained by medical detection dogs. Uh, there's a change of scent in my body that he can pick up on. No. Just yeah. before you black out. Yeah, so how long have you got? You've got five minutes. Yeah, so um, five what? minutes before. And I what can... does Henry do when that happens? He'll jump up. He's very, very obvious and he'll almost get me on the floor. <laughs> to so make you'll get down. down on the floor. Yeah, so... And, so you, by laying down, does that prevent you from blacking out? Uh, occasionally, but most of the time I still black out anyway. Yeah. But it can kind of lessen the blackout. Yeah. So I can carry on with my day. Um, so does he know it's going to happen before you know it? Yeah. Happen? No, five minutes I have before. no warning, and he tells me five minutes. Like, Mum, you're smelly. <laughs> you need to lay down, otherwise <laughs> you're going to fall over. different when you're going to be ill. Yeah, yeah. That's, That's unbelievable. unbelievable. How has he changed your life then? Oh, massively. Like, um, he allowed me to go to university, finish university. Uh, we went to Disneyland Paris last year, which was a complete no-go beforehand. Um, yeah, he's just my my little wet nose knight in fairy armour, and he, uh, That's nice. yeah, oh, he's just. How long have you had him for? 
Uh, oh gosh, about five years now, I think. But those five years are just. Oh yeah, totally I've, I've changed myself completely. Yeah. Like I'm more confident. I was going to ask that. Yeah, on a yeah. day-to-day -day basis, do you feel like you lose, do you leave the house more, or you? Know... Yeah, definitely. Um, before I didn't feel safe leaving the house. Um, sorry, it always gets me emotional yeah, when I talk sure, about that's it. Okay. <laughs> that's all good. Yeah, no, he um, he he quickly, like calms my anxiety as well when I'm out. He's just like my, my little best mate with He's me all the gorgeous. time. He's gorgeous. Keeping me safe. <laughs> really lovely. Oh, it's wonderful. Let's let's go to Georgina and Eddie. Oh, hello. hello there. Hello there. And this is Luna. This is yeah. Luna. Tell us a little bit about Luna. Uh, so she just turned four yesterday. It was yes. her birthday. Oh, happy um, birthday, Luna. And we've had her since um, Eddie was nearly eight. Yeah, basically. Uh, and Eddie was diagnosed with autism in 2019, when he was seven. Yeah. Uh, and we were always going to get a dog anyway. We, I've got two other children, so she's not just Eddie's. Yeah. Um, but she has a very special relationship with you, doesn't she? Tell us about uh, your relationship with Luna, I mean, Eddie. she's... Basically, I don't know how to explain it, being honest. It's just you, you love Luna so he, much. He's Hello, actually darling. taught her what how to give nice? hugs, haven't you, Ed? Hello. You want to show? Yeah. <laughs> oh, she gives, she gives hugs. We can see oh, that you give hugs, yeah. Luna. So was the idea always to get? Is it a fox? Red Labrador? Yes. Yeah. 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 We we Something always. So well, I had Labrador or... when I was little. Yeah. I mean, she's not um, professionally trained yeah. or anything like that. She's not a therapy dog. She's just got a very kind, gentle mm. nature, and she's very calm. So she is a therapy dog. Yes. Really, all but yeah. And she, she's she always there. The thing is, she only really sits when you hold out a treat. She loves, oh, yeah. Here we go. Luna. It's brought, she loves it's brought the big show, 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 yeah, so show us, show us, show us the sit. sit. Oh, yeah. good, Luna. So oh, Eddie yeah. feeds her Eddie the most. Eddie's using the screen as well. Very so good, he's, he's I her give her like person. half. Of... <laughs> you can see. I give her like half of my plate. Yeah. Do you? Yeah. Eddie, what's her favourite treat? Oh, got? those little, yeah. those little uh, biscuits. You've got to give her one now. Look, she's all come out of the Probably toast, toast right. and sausage rolls Ready? are probably oh, her favourite well things. Oh, you can see she just loves this yeah, one. You can she see does. that. She's and it's life changing, isn't it? It is. Thanks yeah. to all of you really for coming in. <laughs> Yeah. Sorry I've sedated your dogs. Other than that, <laughs> I, I, I do apologise. Uh, brilliant, guys. Oh, Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you so much. No, uh, your local weather forecast is...